Welcome to the Learn to Sew Academy channel. Please remember to subscribe. Thank you. Thank you for joining me in a new video. In this video, we're going to be making a simple cotton, a tab top cotton. This is very easy and you're going to see the process in this video. I am using this fabric right here that I got from Joann's. Here are the dimensions I'm using for this particular cotton. Of course, it will depend on what length that you want to achieve and it will also depend on the width of your window. But in this case, this is what I'm going to be using. In this project, the length of the fabric that I cut here is 36 inches and the width is 36 inches. You can make it more. Always remember to add your sewing allowances. So in this case, I have added two additional inches to the width because as you'll see shortly I'm going to be um, sewing the edges on both sides and then for the length I have added an additional five inches so half an inch will be for the top where I'll be joining in and then at the bottom I have four and a half inches extra what I have next is this long strip of fabric this is going to go across the width of my cotton and this is 36 inches by two and a half inches. Next is the cotton tabs and the amount that you need of this is totally up to you. I've cut these to be five inches by six inches and I'm using seven in this project. But you can use less, you can use more and also to depend on the width of your cutting and how close you want the tabs to be or how far apart you want them to be. The first thing I'm doing is to fold the tabs into two and then I'm going to sew them across like that. I'm looking to have a final two inches length after I turn the um, tab right side out. I am folding it on the five inches width so that when I'm done sewing it I'll have two inches after sewing all the tabs using half an inch allowance you now turn them right side out once you've turned them all the next thing you want to do is go to your ironing table and iron this out as you iron the tabs make sure where you joined it is right there in the middle fold it so that you have that in the middle um the joining in the middle and then you iron them on both sides. I'm going to set these tabs aside for now and I'm going to start working on the main body of the cotton. What I'm going to be doing now is to fold the edges twice and I'm just going to um, iron it down or you can hold it with a pin first. So you want to fold it, this is um, folding it once the first time by half an inch and then you fold it again by another half an inch. And I'm going to be using an iron to hold it or you can just use a pin but if you want it to be really crisp and straight I would advise you use an iron. Both sides have been turned in and ironed. I also use a pin to hold it in place. So. You want to go and sew them at the edges just all across like that. Once we sew both sides of the cutting that we previously folded, the next thing will be to start placing our tabs on the cutting. You take the tabs, fold it into two, making sure that the part that had the joining is inside, not on the outside. And then because I'm using seven, tabs for these. I just want to get the center right there. I'm going to put a notch right at the center and then I'm going to put down my first tab in the center. I'm going to align it with that center part and I'm going to hold it in place with a pin. Now if you're using an even number of tabs, place one tab at each end of your cotton and measure the distance in between. That will help you to determine the gap between each tab. 
I have my middle tab in place now and I'm just going to start placing all the other tabs using equal measurements in between the different tabs as much as I can. Note the positioning of these tabs. The opening has been matched to um, the edge of the fabric and that is so that when we turn it, it's going to turn um, the other way after we finish sewing it. So now I'm going to take my strip of fabric, the long one, and I'm just folding it at the edge um, into two. So I'm going to match it right there at the edge. I'm going to hold it with a pin. And then I'm going to hold it all across as well. And at the end of this strip of fabric, I'm going to fold it again twice. I'm using half an inch allowance, fold it twice. And I'm going to hold it in place with a pin as well. Next is to sew this using half an inch allowance from one end to the other. Next step is to fold the other end of the strip of fabric by half an inch and you first iron that so that it stays in place and then you fold this um, strip of fabric just the way you see it in the video. You fold it to the other end and then you iron that down too and hold it with a pin so that you can now go to the sewing machine and sew all those open edges. This next step is optional but if you really want to reinforce your cottons you can go ahead where I'm pointing at right now and you just sew that. You sew the side and you go all across the top and then you sew that side too. The last but not the least step is to fold this cotton at the bottom. Whatever measurement you left for your hemming at the bottom, you want to fold it using that measurement. And then you turn it in by half an inch. So in allowance right there at the edge like I'm doing. And you start to pin that in. When you're done with that, you iron this out. And the next thing you'll do is just to sew that edge, that open edge, from one end to the other. And that will complete the sewing of the cotton. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, and click the bell icon. See you in the next video. Bye.